Hey YouTubers, this is Galen Merrick 49 and I am back with uh, the, the bug mode tutorial of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PC. Uh, now today I am going to show you guys how to turn the bug mode on. Uh, so, um, what you do is you go to Documents and you click on Harry Potter and you click hp.ini, the configuration file and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom where you will see hpbase.base console b debug mode equals true and b use system fonts equals true now right now i have the debug mode on so it's going to look like this b debug mode equals false b use system fonts equals true now what you do is you change false to true and click save as and debug mode is turned on now I'm going to put this back to false because there's actually an alternate way that you can turn debug mode on. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. This is the Hogwarts Crown map, which is part of my free play experience project. Uh, so, as you can see, the bug mode is not turned on. Um, there's no green lettering at the top and I can't open the command console um, so what you do is you type carry debug mode on there we go and debug mode is now turned on so, this is what you type. Um, you don't put it in the command console. Uh, I just wanted to bring that up so that you, you know, you guys can get an idea as to, uh, you know, what it is that you, you know, have to type in. Um, what you type is Harry the bug mode on. You type that in during gameplay, and uh, that will turn the bug mode on. Um, so that is it for this video. I um, hope you guys liked it. Um, there is more on the way. I'm actually going to be uploading a video of how to play this game in first person mode. Uh, so, and I've also got, I've also been working on a ton of custom maps using a lot of the unused content and uh, I plan on incorporating that into the uh, free play experience that you see here. Um, so I'm going to be uploading videos of those maps uh, to show you guys what I've done. Um, so there is uh, there's more uh, on the way.